Hello everybody, today I've made this customizable RGB uh, scroller program. So basically what it does is you have your boundary here and you can make it whatever size you want. So it doesn't matter the room size, you can stretch it way out. And then this boundary, what it does is it creates uh, scrollers at the center and these scrollers can control the RGB value of the object you have, so you have tied to it. So I'm going to run this so you can see what it looks like. So we have these <clears throat> and it runs off positional logic so it knows uh, what RGB values to use. And it is from 0 to 255. It is precise. Um, you could check that in a draw event inside the, the scrollers if you really wanted to. But I've checked it and it, it is pre precise from 0 to 255 RGB values for each one. And it's just kind of a way to do a customizable uh, color for your characters or however you want to use it. But the cool thing is, is you just use this boundary box here and you can make it, you know, whatever size you want. You could put it right underneath the character. Of course, this test object isn't super exciting, but it serves the purpose just so you can see. And you see now it's this smaller area down here and you can draw a background if you wanted to put behind it or you could even edit this uh, the sprite object boundary or the sprite boundary and then you could um, make it visible here which leads me to the second part you'll notice that the scrollers do pass uh, and that's because the origin of the scrollers is at the center which I didn't think was a big deal I tried to work it out but it gave me a headache, so I just left it. I don't think it's a super big deal. But this is available in the YoYo Games resource page. There will be a link in the description. Uh, if you find it useful and you want more free assets, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be having more free assets that I make and post on the YoYo Games resource page quite often. Um, this one's more basic, but I think you might be able to use it or at least understand how it works. I'm not going to go over the coding but you could go through the code yourself and figure it out. A bunch of positional logic. Scrollers are kind of fun to make. But again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.